Okay, let's try it. And it's working. Complete the bridge rectifier with the capacitor. This, this one is the negative. This is an old CFL bulb and I have converted into LED with transparent glass and I have add a small jewel tip. Okay, let me explain the, the jewel tip and the main part is this N-pen transistor 2N3904. From the left side we have a emitter, the middle leg is base and from the right side is collector and the emitter directly is connected on the negative pole of the battery. Here we have one capacitor of 100 nanofarads. This resistor is one kilo ohm and these two inductors are 150 milli henrys. And that's it. It's very simple jewel teeth that will light up these nine Piranha LEDs. As I said, with this rechargeable 1.2 volts USB battery. Okay. Okay, let's try it. And it's working. Working great. It's not at full shine of the LEDs but all LEDs are turned on and working on 1.2 volts with the dual tip circuit great Here it is the simple 
LED light that will work directly on 220 volts AC. Plug it in. Whoa! It's working! Everything is okay. I, I have disconnected. The resistor is little bit hot. That means that need, needed to be changed with higher kilo ohms. Okay. The resistor is changed to 51 kilo ohms because with 15 kilo ohms it get very hot. Now I'm gonna power up again. You can see that it, it is to work. And just to prove that here we have 220 volts. 236 volts, sorry. Okay. The simple LED light that works directly on AC, it's working fine. You need only five electronic components. Four of them are diodes and one electrolytic capacitor to make a simple bridge rectifier. So here I have the circuit diagram of making a simple bridge rectifier using only five elements and four of them are diodes and one is capacitor. You can see the circuit diagram but before that explaining how to connect and solder. The diodes are 1N4007, they are rectifier diodes and they can handle up to 1000 volts and 1 amp maximum, that is enough for simple bridge rectifier and another is electric capacitor of 1000 microfarads and 16 volts DC voltage maximum for that component. To explaining the bridge rectifier circuit, you need four diodes and one capacitor of 1000 microfarads. Two of the diodes we need to connect with the same polarity with this mark on one end and two other diodes with positive side of the diodes to, to be connected together. And on the left corners we have a AC voltage in and on these points we have DC voltage out or positive and negative. How to make a bridge rectifier using the four diodes. diodes. First take two of them and twist together the wires from the negative pole of the diode which is marked with this. These two are connected, connected together on this side. We take another two diodes and this time we connect together from the positive side. And so far we have two diodes that on ends are connected or twisted together with the same polarity on the diodes. And now we need to connect these wires. One more time to explain. Here we have a finished simple bridge rectifier and this positive we are connected two diodes with the negative pole. It's here and do these two diodes that are connected together with positive sign on diode are connected here and on these ends we have a AC voltage coming in and this is DC voltage coming out. Now between positive and negative wires we need to connect the capacitor. Capacitor from 1000 microfarads and 16 volts. It has a negative sign, this is the one. And this means positive. Let's connect it. Goes here and here. 
here. Alright. You can do this just by twisting the capacitor wires and diode wires together. Now we have complete the bridge rectifier with the capacitor. This, this one is the negative, this is the positive output voltage and on these ends you connect the AC voltage coming in. AC voltage will come on different, different polarity of the diodes from the same sides, from the opposite sides, I'm sorry. Okay, here we have a positive, this is the, the one, negative here, AC1, AC2, and on middle between positive and negative, we connect the capacitor. It's good to be mentioned, this 3D printed card is very nice hack, it's for drawing circuits like resistors, diodes, capacitors, ground, 